Tell us how it's going. Let's have a planting update. Good Monday morning, everybody. I am up bright and early. I am subbing this morning, so I'm making myself a wrap. I just had some like um, Tyson grilled chicken uh, strips in the freezer and I warmed some of those up. I'm gonna put a little of my ranch seasoning on my mayo. I'm gonna do a little cheese and that'll be a yummy wrap. I've got some Quest chips in here. And then I think I've got just some little um, of my Chalk Zero peanut butter cups for like a little treat. Uh, I have to tell you about a few things. <laughs> um, I have had this Limon Zip Fizz in my canister for a while and I just don't gravitate towards it because I didn't know what it tasted like. It is so good, y'all. It is like a, um, almost like a lemon lime punch or something or a lemon lime Kool-Aid. I don't know. It's lemon limey. Um, and I'm really liking that. And look how pretty that color is. Can you tell how green that is? Anyway, I am going to mix this up and have that with some sausage this morning and then maybe even do one of these buns. One of my friends picked um, some of these up for me from Costco. She said they were so good and she was having to be going anyway and she picked me up some and they have two net carbs um, per bun. Y'all, they are so good. The brand is Natural Oven. You'll have to comment down below if you've tried it. Sorry, that sausage is making a lot of noise, but they are amazing. I've just been eating them with, like, butter. <laughs> it's been so long since I had, like, a proper actual bun or piece of bread. They are so good, so I'm definitely going to repurchase these, but, um, I wanted to for sure share that with you. And then this Limon, uh, Zip Fizz is so good as well. So, let me get my lunch going, my breakfast going, and then get ready for the day. I've got my lunch packed. I've got supper kind of planned. We're going to do the teriyaki um, chicken with probably cauliflower rice and some fun mixed veggies. I've got my little sausage egg. No, not egg. I'm out of eggs. That was the problem this morning. My sausage cheese kind of bun situation. I'm going to have that with my zip fizz. And then I'm going to get ready. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am bright and cheery today. It is supposed to be 80, so... I am excited to say the least. We have had a couple of weeks of some really cold weather and I'm super excited about this. So I've got my yellow uh, tassels on that I got from Walmart years ago. I have like a bunch of colors of these. I love them. Um, it's just kind of a nice big bright statement there. I've got my pretty floral kind of peasant top on that I picked up from, was it Teach It? Marshalls. Marshalls, last time I went to town, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I can't remember, but it's just a nice flowy floral top that I love. I've got my pink pants on, my Sperry's. I am feeling so spring today, y'all. Um, let's see, what do I need to catch you up on? I, um, Goose is like right here. He is getting so brave. Like he's not scared of us anymore. He's like at the house, like almost on the slide to their play set out here in front of the uh, window. Anyway, um, I have taken a long-term sub uh, that I knew was coming. Um, so it starts today. So it's from today to the rest of uh, the school year, I'm gonna be subbing. So um, I'm not gonna quit vlogging. I'm not gonna quit, <laughs> quit YouTube. Um, it'll just be, um, a little bit harder to kind of navigate everything but it'll be fine i um will still vlog and it'll just you'll just miss a, miss a big chunk of the day obviously because i'll be teaching but um it'll be fine <laughs> i'll try to vlog it'll just be for like five weeks it's not gonna be that long and then we'll have summer vlogs and you'll have big old long vlogs again it'll be good but um I'm gonna try to vlog Wednesdays and Saturdays because obviously Saturday I have you know whatever we're gonna do that day um, it'll be all free um, with the boys and then Wednesday we have early out so uh, I'll probably try to vlog those days so you get more like content like what we're doing or whatever but today is Monday and I am vlogging because I'm behind because we were at the lake this weekend and um, that video you would have seen uh, on Wednesday this will go up Friday so I just kind of need to have a few vlogs kind of like in the queue ready to go. Um, but y'all, we had so much fun at the lake. Oh my gosh, I just edited it last night and I was like laughing the whole time remembering everything. It was such a good time. Like, and the boys were so good. Like they just had so much fun and it was helpful that we were like the only ones there so they could just kind of be loud and rambunctious and <laughs> we didn't have to worry about like disturbing anybody. So that was so nice, we had the best time. We did end up the next morning I didn't vlog, but it actually warmed up a little bit more. So we stayed, am I blurry? <whistles> I can't tell. Anyway, um, we stayed in the cabin for a while that morning 
probably till about 9 30 um playing games and um we did some more coloring and then uh we went out and did some more geocaching and another hike and we did find um some more uh geocache uh, like a micro one it was really tiny and we put some little charms inside of it but they were excited to find that um so we did get to do uh even more the next day i didn't think we would but we did so we ended up like not getting out of there till 12 30 we were supposed to leave it at noon but there was nobody around so <laughs> it was fine we were like mad dashing to get everything cleaned up and put away um so we could get out of there by noon because we had spent so much time hiking and stuff that morning but it was great i'm hoping to either I would totally go back there, but it's kind of given me the bug to like go try out different um, state parks and recreation areas and different stuff around us to see like what everybody has to offer. So that would be fun to um, just go on more little adventures. So that and then also I told you about our Iowa trip that I was kind of planning to see um, in eastern Iowa to go see Herbert Hoover's National Memorial and effigy mounds and there's a Buffalo Bill Museum and some just different stuff we want to do over in eastern Iowa because we don't have enough time to like go out to like somewhere out west like we usually like to do um this summer because it's just so crazy and I, I had told you that I didn't want to go because or we were kind of like on hold with that trip I'm chatty I'm gonna have to go here in a minute <laughs> four minutes before the bell goes off um because the National Archives were closed and then the Presidential Library wouldn't be open and we when we went to Harry S. Truman's National Memorial we went to his Presidential Library and I know I've told you all this before it was so good like the boys still talk about it like it was amazing so I wanted to see Herbert Hoover's and it's closed because it was run through the National Archives in DC and whatever so finally I was just like you know what we're gonna do this trip this is the perfect summer to do it because we can't really do anything else and we've been wanting to go out there and see all those things so if it opens, we'll go. If it doesn't, we won't. We'll still get to see everything else. We just, the presidential library is the only thing that's not open. So I'm crossing my fingers that it will just open up, hopefully. But if it doesn't, it's okay. It's not like it's, you know, we're never going to be able to go back there again if they want to see the presidential library another time. So I am kind of full force planning that trip now, too. And then, of course, I told you we were going to go to the Omaha Zoo. Um, with my fam, they're going to come up and meet us there. So that'll be fun. We've got lots of little trips um, planned. Um really lipstick on my teeth every time anyway <laughs> we've got lots of little trips planned um kind of towards the end of may um beginning of june and then of course all of june is baseball and then which they cannot wait they're like count down the days to baseball i love it um and then july will be you know there there it is their um uh, kind of church camp that we do and then we'll do nature camp and we got some 4-H camps and of course for a Vegas trip and we're supposed to be going to Nashville as well for a cattleman's thing like it's gonna be jam-packed anyway all that to say the vlogs might be a little shorter but as chatty as I am they're probably gonna be the same like you probably won't even notice a difference but we'll get through these five weeks and then it'll be um, back to normal long summertime vlogs which we can now wait we're so excited for summer okay now school we'll see you in a little while all right school is done the boys are heading into the library to get their clover kids bags i need to run to the hardware store and get um what are they doing they have some um dishwashing tabs that i want to get there and some garbage bags and then we're gonna head home looks like they were successful it is such a beautiful day y'all oh my goodness Whoa. <laughs> Alright, they got a special prize at the hardware store. Some orange soda. Now they're going to want to go to the hardware store all the time. Is it delicious? I, I, yeah. Mom, mm -hmm. um, on our ad, I saw um, a little boy drink um, Bay. And he said it oh, was good. Oh, I got one of these. Can I just taste I told it? them they couldn't have it. It's an energy drink. You just want to sip? I've never had one. Stay tuned. Alright, y'all. We have a new favorite. Oh my god. Comment down below if you've tried this. This is the Cherry Blade Lemonade. I mean, it's probably horrible for you, but it's really good. Um, You know, I had a metal straw in my car just for the occasion. Um, gosh, that's good. We're home. I hate the way, like, I leave you and I'm like, oh, it's the morning and I look nice. I'm ready for the day. And then I come back on in the afternoon and it's like, Bleh. I don't have any more makeup on. My hair's flat. Anyway, it is what it is. Um... All right, Craig must have been in here. I don't know if there's donuts in here. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I don't know if he's planting. It rained, it snowed yesterday, actually. Can you believe? Not much, but um, it did. We did get some moisture, but it doesn't feel very um, 
I don't know. I don't know if it's too wet to plant or not, but I don't see him around, so maybe he's planting. Um, I did get the dishwasher tabs. These are the ones that we use. Interested? I don't know. And so, <laughs> garbage bags. Um, we did get the Clever Kids bags. I'll show you those. Uh, we're not going to do those today because I'm just, I just can't. Like, it's not on the agenda. Um, they are, it's called Wild Weather. April is wild weather, so it's like all weather related stuff. And I was thinking, didn't we already do that? But it was snow that we did in, um, was that December we did snow? I don't know. It won't disappoint. Every one of them we've done so far have been fun. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I think I am going, like I told you, I was going to try to do a few vlogs to kind of stack a little bit so I'd have some, um, so I wouldn't be so like stressed for vlogs because, um, this weekend, Friday and Saturday, Friday after school and Saturday, I'm going to go with my girlfriends um, for kind of like a girls uh, weekend getaway um, down to Omaha, which is Nebraska. I don't know if you know that or not, but <laughs> I'm down to Omaha for what they call junk stock. And it's like um, a big like antique kind of, I've never been, so I don't know exactly what it is, but it's going to be fun. So we're going to go down Friday night um, and eat and stay in a hotel and do all that. And then we'll go to the actual like... Uh, junk stock on Saturday and then head home sometime Saturday afternoon evening or whatever so I'm excited about that so I won't be able to vlog this weekend so I'm gonna vlog tomorrow is what I was saying I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow um to kind of have some to have for next week since I won't be here this weekend but I won't vlog while I'm while we go on the girls trip just because I want to like have fun and not have to worry about picking up the camera and putting it in everybody's face but um I will for sure do some kind of a haul whether it's in a day in the life or a standalone haul um to show you what I got I, we might do some other shopping too but I know for sure we're gonna do like the junking um kind of antique stuff so that'll be fun mm. what else um clever kids I need to go re-watch my lake video and make sure that's all good to go and get that uploaded for Wednesday so don't have to worry about that I got um the chicken thawed out here and everything else ready to go that's gonna come together really quickly that teriyaki um stir fry that I'm going to do tonight. So I'm excited about that. I, don't, I need to put some nails on. I had pulled these, um, take you over here in this dark light. I had pulled these out last night, uh, which would have looked so cute with this outfit. And I meant to do them and I just got so tired and I fell asleep last night. I didn't go to bed till like midnight. So I was trying to get that video edited, but, um, they're really long. Like I would cut them short. You know how I have like a little, I don't ever do long nails, but would like to get those on today if I could, just because I need some kind of nail. I just don't like being without. It just, I don't know. I, I've had them so long now, I just feel weird without having them on. Now, this summer, while we're working with horses every day, and it's crazy, and we're like, yeah, uh, popping nails all the time because of all the things. I probably won't wear nails, but like right now, I love to have nails on. Anywho. All right, I'm going to regroup. I'm going to show you the Clever Kids bags in case you're interested. We're not going to do them today, like I said, but I'm going to regroup. Get some stuff done on the computer and then we'll check back up soon. All right, so these, I don't even know why I'm showing you this because you're not going to like be able to figure it out. But this is the Clever Kids. It's just all about weather, watching the weather. Oh, it kind of goes along with, maybe that's what I was thinking. We had done that um, Think Outside the Box weather box. Maybe that's why I thought, oh, we've already done weather, but that was not a Clever Kids. That was Think Outside the Box, which I think I might, um, there's like glitter down in here. I don't know. We'll do it. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow, I think. So that'll be fun. Um, I don't know why there's donuts over here. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was thinking about even, this whole vlog is just going to be like me talking at the window. <laughs> Catching you up. Um, I've signed the boys up for the Think Outside the Box. We loved it so much. You know, they gave us a couple um, to review and to try out. And like, now I'm totally hooked. You'll have to let me know down below if y'all um, got the subscription for your kids or for yourself. Because uh, it was fun. And I kind of want to get it um, every month. So we'll see. Um, and maybe I won't. Like, some are so crazy. Maybe I'll wait until the fall to start getting them. I don't know. I mean, life is just crazy anyways. They're really an uncrazy time. Not really. Anyway, I want to show you one more thing. Hang on. So this book just came in. It is the Disney collection. I got it from eBay. Um, the Wonderful World of Walt Disney. Um, the America one. And I think there's three other ones in this set. I had seen somebody like a Disney collector haul this on Instagram. 
and I saw that Br'er Rabbit was on the front of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me look at that. And if you know, um, not so much anymore, but um, for a while, McCoy especially was obsessed with Br'er Rabbit. Like he had, well, they still have like the stuffed animals and we had the books and he was just like, he loved it. He still does. But anyway, so I looked it up and um, anyway, it has Br'er Rabbit stories in it. And it's also, I'm trying to be quiet, um, because I got it for his birthday, I'm going to put it up. It's got, um, all these, like, all, it's got all yellow, and the pictures are just so pretty. It's got, of course, y'all know, that's a Ben Franklin, um, Davy Crockett, he's going to freak out. Um, and this one is Ben and me, so Ben Franklin, and it's got, here's the Burr Rabbit story, um, and the, uh, Briar Patch and all that, so he'll love that story. And then, uh, I had some other ones, too. That I thought, oh, the Paul Revere story. And they're like little short stories. Um, so I think he will just love that. He is an amazing reader, so this won't be any problem for him. Um, just getting him to sit down long enough to read it was the only issue. But it's got so many good, what's this one? I don't know. So many good stories. Looks like Cowboys. Um, that he, Lady in the Tramp, of course, that he is just going to love. What is this one? Some kind of like trapping and hunting. I don't know. Daniel Boone, maybe. The Grand Canyon. Anyway, it's just got so many fun little stories. I just had to get it for him. Um, and I had looked at the other ones too, but this one, I mean, it just, oh, here's one about, um, uh, let me see what, the, I can't remember what this is called. T Tonka. And so this one's about like the Cowboys and the Indians. Of course, y'all know he'll love that. Here's another one about Cowboys and Indians. Anyway, it's really old. Um, let's see. <sighs> copyright 1965 so but it's nice I mean it's got some wear and tear but I mean that's a long time ago so <laughs> you would expect something um but I'm just gonna wrap this up for him what was I saying oh I thought about getting the other ones but they didn't I mean he probably would have liked them or whatever but it, I think that one ended up being like eight or ten dollars I think um so uh yeah I don't the other ones didn't whatever he's gonna love that and Merritt will love it too and like we can read it together too or like at bedtime and so I just thought it'd be fun because it had all those fun stories in it so I did pick him up that I am going his birthday is May 19th and we're gonna have his party on the 16th and his theme is president so I already told you that so I've been collecting things here and there but basically I'm just gonna use my um Americana 4th of July decor 4th of July decor that I hardly ever use anymore because I do all the strawberries speaking of I still have my Easter stuff up y'all I've got to get that down I don't know when that's gonna happen sometime this week and then I'll probably go a, a while a week probably without anything and then maybe I'll put my 4th of July stuff up for the party and then take that down and then do um strawberries but I'm gonna take you along like for the whole strawberry decorating and all of that so you'll get to see all that but um McCoy I'm gonna do before his birthday or around his birthday I'm gonna do a whole haul like what a seven-year-old would want you know or at least my seven-year-old what I got him and everything so um I don't know he wants um an mp3 player is on his list she'll know he loves music that child so we'll see if he gets that or not and um he's got some games and I don't know what else is on his list y'all so uh, I will do a haul when I get everything though so you'll see that and of course we'll vlog his birthday like I always do their birthdays because it's fun to look back um uh on their party and all the excitement and all that's kind of more like a family uh what do you call it a uh, home movie basically uh for us so you can see kind of like how I you know styled the party and all that kind of inspiration for the party if you want to ever have a president's birthday party for your kid or yourself and then we have the memory of the vlog to look back on so that is fun um so that'll be fun and then um I don't know what else y'all I'm scatterbrained right now um but it's Craig figure out why we have donuts laying around the house it is <laughs> Hello. Okay, I got some answers. He is planting. Um, the donuts were from the trucker this morning. <laughs> he figured the boys would want some, but I didn't tell him about them because if they eat donuts, no, they won't have supper. Yeah. So they can have those in the morning. Um, everybody wants smoothies. I'm going to make the boys a smoothie and then I'm gonna make um, Craig one and take him one out to the field. I got everybody's smoothies ready. Um, the boys and Craig's. I just did a strawberry banana and then this white grape strawberry juice. Um, hopefully Yay. that'll be yummy. Uh, strawberry banana. I'm out of fruity. Koi and I gotta go to Walmart on Wednesday to run some errands. So we're gonna get some more smoothie fruit then. But I'm gonna go deliver this one to my farmer. We're going to deliver. 
I see Koi's gonna take all the credit, even though I made the smoothie. Tell us how it's going. Let's have a planting update. Finally going. He's planting corn in this field. Yeah, but then it's like Took forever that. to get going. Did it? You just started corn today. Mm -hmm. He finished beans. I don't think I told y'all that. We're finished. <laughs> We're finished planting beans. <laughs> I got something to do later. Later, but for the most part, he's done. Yeah, and so it's like another I week, probably, of it. planting. It's really bright out here. Corn. Maybe. If it doesn't rain, stay tuned. Well, I didn't think Koi was going with him, but I guess he, guess he is. Craig said he could drive, so. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but he's in there driving like he's a boss. <laughs> Had to come out here and check on the horse choring boy. Almost done, just got a water now. Couldn't come out here and not give you a little update on baby girl. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she's doing a little grain now. Merritt, you still give her um, milk too, though? Like three handfuls of grain. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, I finished uploading the video and doing the fun thumbnail and all of that, and it is almost 7 o'clock. <laughs> Craig is still in the field, but he should be in soon. I have got to get this um, stir fry going, so I'm going to cut up all my chicken into little cubes or strips or whatever it says, and I'm using, I don't know if I showed you this, but my Kevin sauces. Y'all know I love these. Um, they are linked in my Amazon storefront under keto. I have tried, all, I think, all of them at this point. I think and they're all amazing so um we're gonna do that and then i'll just do like a bag of stir fry veggies in there with it i have some cauliflower rice i think already in the fridge and i'll ask the boys if they want regular rice with it too um and then that will be supper what is that oh a reminder oh y'all grand central station over here the chicken is going i'm loving my new pan y'all so cute <laughs> The boys said they did want rice, so when they want rice, I just use this. I get it at um, just my local grocery store, and it's just little bags um, of rice, and you dump it in a two-quart dish and uh, microwave it for 10 minutes, and it makes perfect rice. It's so easy, y'all. I know it's probably better making it the old-fashioned way, but this is the way I do it, and everybody loves it. I pulled the chicken out, did um, just a bag of stir-fried veggies, and then I had a steamed um, bag of broccoli too, and I did about half of that in there just to kind of supplement with some more veggies. Now I gotta try to fit all this in my pan. I should have gotten my big wok pan out, but I just didn't think about it anyway. And then I just put the teriyaki all over it, and it makes a meal. Oh my goodness, it looks so yummy. I can't wait to dig in. I'm gonna put mine over cauliflower rice with a little, um, uh, soy sauce and it's gonna be so good. Here's the boys version with some regular rice. Here is my version with cauliflower rice down in there. Um, Craig is not in yet so he can just make whatever he likes. There's plenty over there when he gets in but we need to eat now um, so that they can go ahead and get in the bed. Um, it's 7 30 and obviously we have school tomorrow. They already took showers and everything so they just need to eat and then um, they'll head to bed. We've been watching uh, Little House on the Prairie again. We got to like season four I think is what we're on now and we stopped what is my hair doing and we stopped I don't know it must have been like a year ago because I don't remember watching it during quarantine 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 um but anyway we decided to start watching again and we're so into it but I don't we don't want to watch it without Craig so we'll see uh, we don't have time to watch it tonight anyway but um we're back on the little house on the prairie train and loving it again all right I'm gonna eat y'all oh boy y'all there was even plenty left where I can take some for my lunch tomorrow so I'll just pop the top on this and then keep it in the fridge until the morning I'm gonna bring some little peanuts with me I know peanuts are not like amazing for keto but this little tiny thing only has I guess three carbs so <laughs> It's fine. I had bought these for the camping trip and we just need to kind of eat them and the boys like them too But I just thought this would be good and honestly it would be really good like mixed in with that like a kind of peanut sauce mm. Anyway, we'll see uh, How I eat them or when I eat them or whatever, but um, I did put me some or I am gonna put me some little um, Peanut butter cups in there too and one of my little um, 
what was this chalk xo i like to have this like late in the afternoon i'm um, sometimes even on the way home from school <laughs> it's just a good little sweet treat so i'll just put all those in the pockets and then put my napkins in and then that will be good to go for tomorrow for lunch for school and i'm just see seeing this um egg white protein that i have sitting out over here and thinking i need to make my um uh what well, i don't know what it's called that angel food looking bread that i made oh, that stuff was so good i need to make that again but i have just been loving these buns that my friend had picked up from costco so i'm gonna finish those i might make some tomorrow we'll see but i gotta make some soon i've got all this stuff to do i just need to do it and then of course we got breakfast in the morning for the boys so that's great um i'm gonna get all this stuff kind of put where it needs to go um let's see what else needs to happen i need to probably go ahead and um I'm just, the longer the night goes on, the more of a hot mess I am. It's fine. Um, I need to probably go ahead and start editing this video because it will have to go up. Well, I guess it's time to go up till Friday, but, um, I don't want to be like stressed out towards the end of the week when I'm getting ready for my trip and everything. I'll need to wash clothes and pack and all of that. It feels like we're just all the time going somewhere and on the road but that's kind of how I like to live y'all know that I like to always have something going on and always have something planned to look forward to um what else was I gonna tell you um hmm I don't know I'm sure I'll think of it I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and then um see about where Craig is and what his plans are for the night all right now that I'm seven every night I'm trying to like be more prepared i guess um with with meals and things um just like i laid the chicken out for tonight so that would be ready to go i'm just trying to like prep a little bit so i'm not like scrambling at the last minute which i should do all the time but now it's like serious sorry i just turned the dishwasher on too but um i was i need to use up some beef roast so i'm definitely gonna do a beef roast but i was thinking i would just do like a barbecue um pulled beef instead of pulled pork and i used to use these like religiously like once a week we would have this with the pulled um with a pork uh roast but it is not great um and what you mix it with the ketchup and the brown sugar and this uh apple cider vinegar i have all that in keto form but this packet is uh three carbs just for a teaspoon so what i think i'm gonna do i have this recipe here i think i'm just gonna kind of like wing it and put like some garlic powder and onion powder and some cumin and different things like that with the brown sugar and then I have sugar-free ketchup and the vinegar and just kind of let it I don't know just see how it goes but I'll put it together tomorrow morning before I head off to school and um, hopefully we'll have some barbecue pulled pork tonight I really want to do this because I want to have it with my buns <laughs> I think that'd be so good um I was gonna say I would do my fried pickles again too but I am out of my um the pork rind crust stuff i just did order some more but it's not gonna be here till thursday so uh i can't make those yet but um i did order some more of that so i can make those again and so that this thing is so loud and so that i could do those chicken strips again i haven't been dying to have those they were so good still i need a bigger air fryer but i just hadn't even had time to think about it we haven't used it a ton they did um i had to go to um a girlfriend's um birthday party last night um and so they were here, the boys were here and they did um, french fries again in the uh, air fryer. And that is just like their new favorite thing. They love french fries in the air fryer, which is fine with me. It's easy and they can just have a meal with some chicken, chicken, not chicken strips, chicken nuggets. Anyway, I'm getting tired y'all, can you tell? So I just kind of have this set out. I'm gonna put this um, roast back in the freezer because you can just put that straight in the freezer from the, straight from the freezer to the crock pot and it cooks all day. So that's fine, I don't need to like thaw it or anything. I just, it was in the freezer downstairs, so I brought it up here. Anyway, that is what is happening. Hopefully, I'll be prepared in the morning. I got my lunch ready. I've got supper all planned. Um, I don't know what else we're doing tomorrow, but like I said, I'm gonna vlog again. So it'll be like, and I'm gonna vlog Wednesday too. So three days in a row, it's gonna be like Vlogmas all over again. Anyway, thanks so much for following me along today. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.